Hey everybody, welcome back. So I proved I know how to play on pay to win. Let's try to prove that we know what the heck we're doing on free to play. Like, this has been the bane of my existence lately. My, uh, I'll be a nasty rodent. My experience with free to play lately is get a, if you see a scaling engine, take it for the love of God, take it, okay? Even if it's a giraffe, don't stop till you're numb. Come on, man. This, I, I didn't buy the ant in order to maximize the odds. You just de on Survivor last season, me. That sentence makes sense. It wasn't phrased well, but Deshaun was a player on uh, the last season of Survivor who had the opportunity to explore the Monty Hall problem. He ended up making a suboptimal move that worked out for him. Do you see? Like, it, mathematically, he did the wrong thing, but he was not punished for it. We mathematically did the right thing, and we were punished for it. What the heck? I believe is what you say there. You see a giraffe, you take it. I'm a simple man. But what is the giraffe going to buff? For now, it doesn't matter. Freeze me. Not good. Um, I think you got to buff the fish. I wish it weren't so. Save tonight and fight the break of dawn. I can't get rid of the ant. But I think I need to buff the fish because the ant is definitely going to go at some point. Well, all things considered, I think we got very, very lucky with the way that that bat worked out. I'll take my draw. I like that. Thank you. I want to see a good animal. I want to see a good animal. <laughs> you know what? I think the time has come. It's not that bad. Now you're a 2 5, you're a 5. Okay, yes. That means we can level our fish up next turn. Everything will get buffer, which is not that important. But what is important right now is that our fish maintains some strength. Oh, okay. We're going up against the crab army. There was no shot there. Uh, well played. Haven't seen that build since the last time I was on the subreddit 10 minutes ago. Go ahead. I feel like we have to take a penguin. Freeze me for a second. Here's the deal, okay? I still want the penguin. We're missing out on a 1-1 one, one right now by not taking it. I feel like giving everybody a 1-1 one, one via the snail and then having a 2-2 two, two instead of a 1-2 is the best option on that one. I apologize if you disagree. The penguin doesn't have to come out in the first couple of rounds that you have it for it to do something. We'd like to see some more utility out of it, you know? Now the snail doesn't have to exist. We got very lucky with our salad there. Like, I... I, and I don't mind having the snail at the back in order to have the hedgehog at the front. I know you might say put a hedgehog up at the front first, but then what if they got their camel up at the front? Then they get one extra hurt trigger. I'm just, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying it's not the, it's not necessarily a guarantee. Nice crab meta. You might want to go see the other guys post on the subreddit if you want to figure out how to really make it pop. Um, roll me. We really want to go up a level on something here, man. None of these are good enough yet. We need to go up a level on something. Thank you. I would, okay, and you know what? I would now say, like, this is enough um, to, to put a monkey out here as well. So we'll probably sell the hedgehog because we haven't built the whole squad around it. Move the, the peacock to the front. Maybe the fish to the front, but possibly the peacock to the front. Depends whether you want deep scaling or wide scaling. And I don't have an answer for you right now, but I know you've got to go. Let's feed you some buffs. I guess we're going wide scaling for now. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Freeze me. I don't know what to do with you yet, but freeze me. Because here's the thing. You could sell the giraffe to add a second monkey, but if you're going to sell the giraffe, you might as well sell the penguin. I don't know if that makes sense. After I thought about it longer, I was like, we could just get two monkeys, or we could get a level two monkey eventually, and a level two penguin, and then have super scaling? 
Maybe we gotta put our penguin up at the front so the penguin is getting the buff from the monkey so that, and then the monkey would get the buff from the penguin and the giraffe would, and, and everything's buffing itself. You know what I mean? Well, I love this. You're gonna think that I've lost my mind. Everybody gets a piece. This is what it means to be fair. <laughs> We've set up a scaling Ouroboros with a front penguin. This is a very strong team. That's fair. Honestly, the parrot was, was a very inspired move. I'm still feeling good. I w don't, don't concern yourself with that. I'm still feeling good. I would say the next step is equipment. This is so strange. <laughs> hmm. It is a strong team. Don't get me wrong. It's not that strong. Get me wrong. Get me wrong. This is the no child left behind build. Holy cow. A level three penguin. Welcome to the squad. Everybody gets a slice, okay? If you mess with Spider-Man, you mess with New York. Now, what did I tell you at the start of this, okay? I, I'm not saying we're necessarily guaranteed. But what did I tell you at the start of this? I said something very simple to you. It was, if you see a scaler, you take a scaler. Now, I took that literally. If that bothers you, there's the... There's the button to exit the window, okay? What the heck was that? The fish was like... It was like 1050? What the heck happened there? I'm going off, man. No, nah, man. No, no, no. Look at this. More melon armor is the only thing we need here. This is a nightmare squad to go up against. Like, I'm... There are things, like a big scorpion is very scary, don't get me wrong. The fact that we 1v1 their scorpion was actually pretty impressive. But, like, for Arena, this is actually one of the strongest teams I've ever seen, I think. It just lacks equipment. But, you know, that can change in time, don't get me wrong. I don't really want a level 3 uh, peacock, man. I don't think it's necessary. Like, we've got almost a... It's a full squad of almost mass, max stats. Like, you don't see this outside of Arena. That's a strong unit, man. Oh, my God. I don't believe that we faced a stronger team. <laughs> I am stunned. I'm flabbergasted. Very rarely in, in Super Auto Pets... Do I feel like we reach a level where I don't want to buy anything? Look at the squad. I'm feeling great. Like, I got to screenshot this one. It's not the most incredible team of all time. Like, it's it, in the sense, like, nobody's going to look at it and be like, wow, how'd you win that one? If we win. But it is just so unbelievably high statted like it's hard for me to believe all we want is melon armor on our monkey sans melon armor guess what i mean that would be a very funny way to win this can i i just want to see my team before we go into battle this turtles could beat us here they're not going to i gotta i gotta hit you with the print screen real quick Okay, and then I, I can't believe we only had one life left at the end, to be honest. This is, if I'm still print screening, then you know, like, this team is weird. You might have to be a super auto pet scholar to see how overpowered this is. But like, holy cow. Okay, just give me a second here. You versus the scaling she told you not to worry about 
open parentheses. 10 wins, no sweat, didn't even come. I'm going to say nearly flawless edition. And then I'm going to post that. It's crazy. A 29-30, a 34-37, 48-49, 47-50, 42-50 in arena. Which, like, that on versus, that happens all the time. Because the games go longer. But in arena, that's crazy. Have I said yet that I'm flabbergasted? <laughs> it went well. Um, I'll be a magical geyser. Have you, can you tell I've been playing Elden Ring lately? They exist in that game. That's the joke there. They exist in that game. Peace. Yes. Yes. No. Uh, so I'll just buy an apple. With an apple for my teacher, because I knew I'd get a kiss, always got mad when the class was dismissed. We win this. We draw this. I'll take that. We got much better long-term prospects. Because we get this. And then we get this. And then I'm not even a hater. Go ahead, buff whatever you want. I don't care. It's all about giving you the extra point here. Welcome. Welcome. You know what? Welcome. 6634? Six, six, yeah, maybe if she's a 1-1 one, one zombie, Cricket. <laughs> Water? No water. Okay, that's fine. I don't need it. I mean, like, to live, yes. But otherwise, not really. For, for sport, no. Well, for sports, yes. But, okay. Get sold? Get bought? Huge mistake I've made with the dog in the past. Worrying way too much about efficiency. And way too little about just cranking the stats as high as they'll freaking go. It doesn't have to be that efficient, I think. Don't quote me, that's an I think. If you're just making sure those stats get better. And then you're obviously hoping for, you know, the dog to also get some duplicates to level up. You see a scaler, you take a scaler. It's just that easy. We keep our turtle around for a moment. Just for a moment's notice. I'm not willing to mess about here. You're going to need this, let's be honest. Keep you around. You know what? Get rid of the fish. Buy a mosquito. Did I just buy a fish, by the way? <laughs> did you get my crazy or did I just buy a fish? But whatever. It, as The dog scaling, it's now got some giraffe value as well. Badger. Mushroom, mushroom. All right. Looks like your badge was worse than your bite. Don't need it need it because you're gonna get the melon armor when we get a pill which has not happened as of yet you get combined you get bought you get sold you get frozen now you get bought and i don't i know you're probably gonna say put the sheep in front of the dog so that the sheep uh can get two extra summons on the dog in battle again this is my my honest to goodness wisdom. We, we're gonna lose this one for sure. It wouldn't have made a difference though. The, my wisdom to you: worry less about synergy most of the time. Worry way more about stats. It will serve you well, I promise. Now I don't know how long the turtle's sticking around, but I'll take my stats regardless. 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 Hold on, something's percolating. What's for breakfast at Cozy? We're living, we're living, we're living. We're not, li we're living, we're living. Okay, I got scared a little bit there. That's four wins. I'm feeling, I'm feeling majestic here. Level three mosquito into a cow. The easiest buy sell that's ever been done. Sell me. For the time being. Roll me with one of these. Next round we get two level two level twos. 
that will serve us greatly as the game progresses. Oh, you got some melon armor of your own. I've noticed that. Many people are saying this. You've got some melon armor of your own. And yet, and yet, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Mosquito, by the way, for popping that melon armor. Ooh, what a delightful little situation has presented itself. Makes sense. Okay. Buy me. Place me. Nah, I'm not really that interested. Buy me. Place me. I didn't even see the dog until then. That's obviously an order misplay. But we're lucky it's not that bad. You may be a hater here, and that's your right. I may disagree with your hater tendencies, but I would defend to the death your right to exercise them. We both got melons. How's this going to work? Oh, I'm going to win. That's how it's going to work. But I think it's too late for a buffalo. That whole setup, or a bison. That whole setup was just me being about to say I think it's too late for a bison. Everyone relax. Buy me. Place me. Place me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Giraffe me. Roll me. I'm feeling okay. I obviously, like, we're doing really well right now. I do feel like we're coming off of a run where our run was so insane that any run is going to feel a little weaker in response. But I also feel like without, and, and that was a fair loss, without, like, a, a genuine scaling engine, we do face some problems. Would, would you not suggest the same? Like, we don't have, like, a, and, and that's why I took the snake, because, like, that's something I only take when I'm frightened, you know, when I'm perturbed. We got to try. I know that the dog is not getting the scaling off of it, but we, we don't have a monkey. We don't have, like, a, a, a beyond level one penguin. I mean, we don't have any penguin, but it's, we certainly don't have one beyond level one. Huge hit. Huge hit. We love the snake. So I think it's a little bit more touch and go, especially because we're in like, you know, nightmare meta where everybody that plays the game is like a super pro. Except me, maybe. You need to go to level two. I would still like you to get to level three. Or you to get to level three. Probably the turtle. Like, what would you rather have? One, one extra stat or uh, a level th uh, an extra melon armor? Even though getting the giraffe first to allow the mosquito to move up one position to then inherit the melon armor probably is also a little juicy. We love this. We love this. This is an old school team right here. Well, you know what? If we can only get the giraffe to level up, then the right decision is probably the giraffe. Which allows us to then do this. I'm just giving you salads. I, I think we're that close to the bone here. If we were only playing against other free-to-play, also known as resin mechanics, I think we would have a, a better chance. But for where we're at... What the heck? <laughs> For where we're at, possibly playing against pay-to-win Caterpillar teams that scale, you know, so well. I want a steak on you. I think we got to be a little bit more cautious. Why don't you take a small buff? It's not much, but it's honest work. Why don't you take another small buff? Why don't you take a small buff? How about that? Like, this giraffe is basically doing as much as, like, a level one penguin. That's not good. This is where we go down. <laughs> they had a monkey. You just can't... Uh, I thought we did pretty well. It's hard to compete, you know? Even a level three giraffe versus a monkey, like, you know, the monkey's a little bit more... It's some targeted aggression. Be an inedible eggplant if you catch my drift. But we're at, we're at one ten piece and one nine piece. Okay, note to self, ants are good in round one again. I love this for me. You know what? I love winning rounds. This is actually like a devastating 
unit to go up against early. So many of their units are not going to have 3 HP. So many of their units have 3 HP somehow. It doesn't matter, you know, that that was a good hedgehog. That was a smart hedgehog. Not all, not all hedgehogs are memes. Come on. You got to be a little cautious, okay? We like it. Honestly, we like it. And just keep growing out. Or up instead of out. This is a perfect penguin team. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that 7-9. But this is the perfect team. A penguin could show up any moment now. And send us to the moon. The moon. Now, I refuse to level. Like, I know you're going down. I refuse to level on this turn because if we get to the next turn and we level the ant and it gives us a penguin, that in and of itself might be enough for us to just win the game right there. So this one, we were one hedgehog, hedgehog away from success there. That's okay. So skunk is still very good. It's two skunks. That's even better. At this point, you probably have to go, even though I just, I don't really care if our otter gets the buff, um, to add a skunk to the team. Now, it's only turn five, okay? Like, this is not, all is not lost yet. I would hesitate, like, if I were you, I wouldn't start crying yet or whatever. I mean, like, look at how easily that round went. Whenever we win a round easily like that, nobody goes, whoa, amazing. When you lose a close round, everybody goes, whoa, throw, throw. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about, man. You should take this, and then also this. If one penguin shows up, followed by a monkey, followed by a level three giraffe, we're so off to the races. Like, you don't even want to know how off to the races we are, because that's how off to the races we are. We have to live longer. <laughs> the problem that I have right now, like in pay to win, I feel like I have a ladder that I go through, right? Like here's the units that are good at this stage of the game. Uh, we can now sell them. You run a hatching chick for a little bit as like a replacement and then like move something else into the meta. Then a buffalo shows up and you're like, okay, it's incredible. In pay to win, or sorry, in, in free to play, there's, like, no um, good units until, like, round four, <laughs> I think. Now, I'm not, like, the arbiter of what makes a unit good or bad. Like, I, I, I win some, I lose some. But I right now, I do feel like I'm sort of at a loss for, like... Holy cow. For what... Um, like I'm supposed to be doing on on free to play. Like I feel like I basically just end up here with almost no HP and then lose uh, my next round. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe maybe we add a crocodile into the mix. It has some utility. Maybe we dump our giraffe. It's served its purpose. We're probably coming close to dumping the hedgehog. I think that that would be a fair assessment. We have not built a hedgehog focused team. It existed mostly to win us one round in the early game and now for some reason is still here. I love that in theory you could have died to our hedgehogs, but we still got you. Okay. Good stuff, crocodile. You know what? The time has come. I don't really want to run like a super snipe team. I'm like, this is very weird. <laughs> Should have bought the cow in there as well. But I, I kind of sort of like it. I know it's very strange because like our... Crocodile, its ability doesn't scale with stats. But I want our Mosquito to get the Melon Armor. So I felt like this was the, the way to do that. 
we're gonna lose. Are we? Were we on lethal? This is so like disappointing. Like the game just ends. Well, either way, we had a great scaling team there. I'm just gonna say it right now. If you've been hesitating paying the five bucks to get pay to win, you know I don't get affiliate sales, but pay to win I find a little bit more satisfying right now. I think we need we need other methods for success in in free to play instead of just scaling. You know what I what I'm gonna say. I have to start respecting the summoning teams again. I have to go back to Turkey Tiger Fly. I can't believe it, but I've got to I've got to sell out my morals. Either way, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Click the like button. I'm see radio. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.